Hey everybody, this is Lab Series, and if you're just tuning in, we are doing the Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII. Um, we have just finished up the Sector 5 reactor and got our newest party member, Eris. And we are on our way to her house as we speak from the uh, Sector 5 Slum Church. Alright. Now there's a couple of things that we need to do in this area. Um, if you want, you can take the time to go talk to let's see, this guy. Apparently he's sick, so let's go and have a word with him. Alright. Keep that in mind. That's the guy who has a number two tattoo. That is going to play an important role later in the game. And this is the materia shop. Let's go ahead and take a look, see. Yeah, don't really need anything from here. And this is the item shop. That would be nice to have some tents. Oops, alright. Another thing we should probably do, um, up here is like a weapon shop, weapon armor shop. Let's give it a look, see real quick. Let's see if there's anything. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna get one more of those. Just to have on hand. And then the final thing we need to do in this area is go into this house for two different reasons. Don't really have to talk to the dad down here, but what we want to do is we want to go upstairs and get our very first Turtle Paradise Flyer. Now there are seven of them total in the game that we need to go and collect. And if we get all seven before we go to Wutai, we get a free item. And what you want to do is you want to talk to this kid to find the hidden drawer over here. And you'll be given an option to take the gill or leave the gill. Now, it's five gill, right? No need to rob the poor kid when he's sleeping. And it will benefit us later when we come to this area again. So we're going to go ahead and do head on over to Eris's house. Well, there's a safe point out here, but before you go in, it's good to know that you want to go over here for two things. The ether and the cover materia. And the cover materia is kind of important if you want to start working on the limit breaks early in the game. And it's just convenient to have. And we find out this is her mother, Elmira. And she's just kind of letting mom know what's going on and why, you know, she brings some random dude into her house. Ah. And we come up to another set of options. Now we can be mean and kind of shut her down and say, yeah, that's right, Tifa's my girlfriend. Or we can go, no way, and get all embarrassed about it. Why are you used to putting yourself in danger? I get it's the slums, but Jesus. She is very insistent on just kind of going. Let's go, go, go. Let's go make up the best get. <laughs> the best get. Wow, dyslexic much? The guest bedroom. And you want to talk to the mom? Oh, mom knows about soldier. Oh, and the mother has asked you to somehow manage to get out of the house without letting Eris know what's been going on or what's going on. Kind of just leave her behind. Don't put her in danger. And we are going to be traveling through sector six to get to sector seven. Oh boy. 
Uh, something to note here is, oh, we're going to have a little sequence here. A little flashback, I suppose. Oh look, it's his mummy. Well, mother's trying to tell him, you should need a girlfriend. I'm not sure if that's a conversation you should be having with your adult son. Alright, so the trick here... Oh, well, first we want to get this, this little care package. Is not to run. Even when you hit the stairs, you don't want to run. You don't want to go all the way down because if you run, the floorboards will squeak and she'll come running out of the room. Alright, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. Alright. Oh! Well, so much for leaving you behind. Are you done? No, no, I'm not. Wait up! No! What I want to do here really quick is get some of these other things on. So she's a caster. We're going to go ahead and have... Oops. Have her use some of these heavier materia. Alright. Now we have to get our way through this maze. And this is probably one of the most unique enemies I've ever seen in any game. Demonic House. Oh, you whiffed. Let's go ahead and do some bolt action here. And we'll fall out of fire. And follow it up again. Excellent. Well played. Oh, my little black mage slash white mage. Okay, oh, we don't have to run a walk here. Ah! Not used to the keyboard controls. Okay. Walk onto here. One more fight before we get pushed into a. Ooh! To another scene. Nice. Back attack. Nice crit. From the caster, no less. That would be a good grindy area because you are going to need a little bit of gill in this next section. Uh, why would I go all the way back? This makes more sense. What do you mean you'll be in the way? And talk to her. Oh, it's a little mog. It's cute. For being a ghetto, at least they have a nice little park. Ah, reminiscing about Soldier. Oh, and here we find out a little bit about her first boyfriend. Wow, the faceless driver. Where's Tifa's face? No!
Oh. Wait, no! Don't run off by yourself! Oh, for folks. For goodness sake. Alright, let's get over here. Ah, the Dawn's mansion coming up soon. Oh, this is probably one of the most unique parts of the game. Come on, lady. Alright, there's a couple of- there's actually a lot that we can do here. Um, this also kind of affects the outcome of who the Don will pick to be his date. Ooh, weapon. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Pick that up. We already have that. Ooh, we just bought armor though. Ah, <sighs> well, I am going for 100%, so. Oops. Wrong way. Alright, we're gonna go all the way up here. And we want to talk to the bouncer. Okay. So the Don doesn't like men, obviously. That's just not his cup of tea. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go all the way down here and figure out where Tifa is would be the best way. You know a girl named Tifa? Interesting. Alright, so now we want to go all the way back up to Don Corneo's mansion and uh, figure out how the heck we're going to get in there. Here we go. And you got a cute one with you. What? She's gonna go in there by herself? That's not wise. I love how she starts chuckling. He's determined to go in with her. What? Oh wow. And this is the part of the game where we're going to go cross-dressing. Yeah! Cloud is a woman. That's just amazing. Alright. I'm going to do... Let's see. I'm not sure how far I've into this, but I'm going to go talk to this guy real quick to get a one of the pieces of the outfit that I need. Well, I wouldn't say you necessarily need it, but if you want to look more uh, attractive as a woman, it's highly suggested. Would you get out of my way, dude? Thank you. Alright, and we're gonna go stay at the inn here. Since him and the inn guy are kind of having a bit of a feud. Alright. Eh, ten gil a night, sure. Alright, now we have three options. We can buy the 50 gil, 100 gil, and 200 gil. This is for the worst item, that's for medium, and this is for the best. So we're gonna go with the best here. Might as well, right? I mean, uh, I think Cloud needs as much help as he can get looking like a woman. Just doing him a favor. Alright. And then we're going to go up here and talk to the guy that sent us on this little side quest to get our first key item. A protein drink set for freaking 200 gil? That's ridiculous. A diamond tiara. Ooh. Cloud's going to be a pretty little princess. Yeah! Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing. Mm. 
Now, you can order whatever you want here. We're gonna go, you know what, let's go with today's special, sure. 70 gil, eh. All right, you want to say it was all right in order to get your next key item. The pharmacy coupon. And from here, we go all the way down here with the big kitty. And we try to get this guy's attention. He's a wee bit startled. All right, again. Um, this... We get a series of three things to get. Disinfectant, deodorant, and digestive. Uh, this is the worst. This is medium. This is going to be the best. So we're going to get ahead and get the digestive medicine and run up here really quick and make a visit to the bar. Because I have a feeling somebody in the bar is going to be needing this. We're having a wee bit of issue. Oh, looks like that guy needs to use the restroom. So we're gonna go in here. And we're gonna give her the medicine. And she's gonna give us the best key item uh, for this little segment, which is the sexy cologne. This is an optional thing you can get, but it wants more. Any help for Cloud as a woman is greatly appreciated, I'm sure, on his part. And then gonna go ahead and go down here and we're gonna hit up the save point and then I'm gonna go ahead and call it here and when we come back we will finish getting our ensemble together and uh, get this show on the road all right thank you all for tuning in this has been Lab series playing Final Fantasy 7 and I hope to see you all again soon take care bye